Hello ladies and gents, welcome on back to Underspace. Well, it's about time we have a lore drop video. That's right, we're going to be going into all kinds of lore, cutback scenes, all kinds of good stuff. So, alrighty folks, in the last episode we needed to head back here. To see what all is going on at the main base. Uh oh. Ooh. All right, sorry about that. Okay, we're just waiting for the uh, voice acting to come in. So, when they're talking, man, can't keep up. All right, speaker saying, but this I can. Just the floating sack of star chasing I wanted to see. What's up, dude? Red faces. Bounty hunters, they paint their faces, hence the name. Technically star chasers, but they supplement their income by hunting normal criminals. Not the kind of people you want to mess with. Word reached them about Ebezo and the cult. Damn it, I shouldn't be so harsh. They can be pretty tough customers. But he's right. These past few times, we've been outmatched. I think... I keep thinking we can beat these cultists, but they're always one step ahead of us. No shame in having pride in your abilities. There's more important things than pride here. A good star chaser knows when to set his ego aside to get shit done. Hell with it. I'll call the red faces back. We need all the help we can get. Yes, sir. In the meantime, we got a lead. Zed sent some salvage teams out to the nebula and managed to recover Bravo's black box. The Riken victim. How does that help? We still don't know what happened to him or how Abezzo was able to escape there to begin with. This black this black box will show us. Wow. That's a mouthful. <clears throat> you don't know. Ship black boxes record memories, specifically the memories of the last moments of their pilots. With this, we can see through Bravo's eyes, learn what he learned. Or you will. I called you in here because I need you to use the black box and experience his last... Oh, dude. Guys, let me know down in the comments. Would you want to experience a pilot's last few moments of life? I sure the hell wouldn't. Uh, Bravo was Valdrin, which is our race. Generally, with a black box, you want to be the same race, and ideally close to the victim as possible. Perspectives and biology can get odd. Imagine trying to experience something from the perspective of a Baldwin's hive mind, or a Baylor, whatever they are, you know? Ryzen? Bravado had two eyes. Ryzen doesn't. What's possible, remember? Fair enough. Good. I've got loading your cargo hold. Just need to activate it. Okay. So we jump into our cargo hold. All the way at the bottom here. This is a, a black box. That's not good. Uh oh. Yeah. Get some. Hey, I got one. These guys are really hard.
fuck is that? I don't know if that's a bug or what. It didn't look like this last time. Weird. Oh, now it's gone. Weird. Somebody's been taking a little mushrooms. Okay. We'll go back, Speakerson. What was that last memory? The one with the machine. Machine? You're saying it was some sort of device? No. I had some other memory somewhere else. Not Bravo. Of fighting washers. Ah, I've heard some folks talk about reliving dreams of their own memories when a black box ends. It's weird tech it is. Probably just some bleed through from your own experiences. Never dreamed anything like that. They can do it later. Now tell us, what did you see? The bezel sword, he seemed to use it to create a jump hole. His blade, the one on his back, yes, he used it to take out a hauler and escape. I've heard tales of these things like that. Artifacts, blades specifically, what could control stuff like that? Ah, so that's it then. Bezel isn't collapsing jump holes, he's opening them. That always comes through in the end. Thank God for Bravo, even dead, his memories at least are finally going to give us the key to taking down the Doom Slayers. That was an experience, yeah, I can imagine. You never quite get used to it, but black boxes are one of the small miracles of the galaxy. Every ship's got one, and it's done wonders for this kind of investigation. Every ship? Oh yeah. Every ship built in the Union and its affiliates. Which means the ships that uh, we are accused of blowing up had black boxes. You can't change elements in the memory, but you can remove bits and pieces, though it's pointless. If a memory skips around like a cut up video, it'll be extremely obvious. Why? I need to go somewhere. You do what I have to do for now. I got a plan for it. All right. And guess who calls us? Alright, so, we go back to the landing pad, because that's where the taxi will be. Well, anytime you got to come back and see him, you always got to come to the taxi pad. Same place as always, dude. Alright, you have the black box on the desk. Don't say I didn't warn you. <sighs> yep. So this would be uh, the black box for his people that got blown up. Can't move, can't do nothing.
he's out there by himself. That would suck. Watch this thing. Third time is trying to find you an alibi. The pilot died of oxygen loss. Life support gave out pretty fast from the shock wave of the beam. The laser, the big beams. Saw it all. Why didn't you tell me this? I already told you, Cardoz, the charge against you weren't that you led your ship into a storm, it's that you led them into an ambush. Whatever destroyed them was in a storm, so it supports the charge. Oh, that's no weapon I've ever seen before. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. About the TV here. Okay. Ooh. Did we just get a we got, just got 125 grand for some reason. I'm saving these. Yeah. I wonder if we can No, we still haven't gotten anything to make that yet. Hmm. All right, well, I think he's done. We already talked to him. So, we head back. Here we take off, and guess what? He's probably going to call us again. Attention, ships in range. This is Agonite Station 2. Necro Convoy, you are on our scanners requesting identification. Yep. Not particularly what's going on, dude. Your information checks out. Where are you headed? Lane line magnetized. Proceeding. Alrighty, folks, so this episode is going to be about lore. This is our big lore dump. Oh, no, wrong button. There we go. Pardon me, sir. I just need to squeeze by you. Just a scotch. Excuse me. Alright. Taxi's at a different height. Well, I'm glad you're here. I don't want to uncork the bottle just yet, in case it starts to scream. Now that I'm drinks, another gift? Absolutely. Now, from what I understand, the wine works best when you're feeling particularly nostalgic. I'll leave the toast to you. What do you want to remember? Okay. 
Oh, let's go f to friends and family gone. Jander again and I take it. It takes me back to the days before all this. He used to follow us around like a lost kitten. Not the smartest man, your brother. He was caring. That's what mattered. True. What did Tara always call him? A happy idiot. A lovable, handsome idiot. She called him. That's for sure. I remember the Upper Harvest Ball, remember? Back in 67. You sulked in a corner while apparently every eligible girl was at 8-5 that year. Poor gender had so many ladies after them, you'd think we'd all become bailers. A weird sentence. <clears throat> okay. It's like something out of a bad middle number romance. Yeah, I wasn't into those. Yeah, romance novels. You're not missing much. Too many love triangles. Too much relationship-based drama. I was always more of a fan of the rare number of novels. Error? Oh, there was something more appealing about two souls intertwined, overcoming the odds and struggles of life together. Give me that any day. Nope, don't care about that. Yeah, I don't do soap operas. Fair enough. I do recall you used to be quite a book reader, though. How many days did we lose in your mother's library just reading the great days of ancient kings and queens? Now, fantasy and science fiction? It's my jam. Wow, part of some stuff. One other glass, or are we done? Oh, let's go one more. Uh, I don't know who this speaker is. Let's go old man Lobby. Old man. It's always mean to hear people call him that. He's not dead, you know. He's only 15 years older than us, give or take. State of mind. Here, I suppose some people never age, but other people are just born senior citizens. For all his faults, you can't say the old fart wasn't a good mentor. I don't know anyone who would have taken your view aside and helped you start speaker freight, running his own competitor like that. He's a good man, that Lobbit. A good man. I remember, man, you know, well, you know, wow. Yeah, we drank too much. Yeah, we'll be good. We'll stop. I don't blame you. It's definitely taking me back. Let's hope there are no long-term side effects. Tasty, though. I'll definitely keep at the rest for another day. Of course, it's not just a glass of wine I wanted to give you. My latest client was stockpiling missiles for some sort of doomsday scenario. Something about an insane washer coat coming to kill us all. Illegal, at least at the level he was doing it. As serendipity would have it, your latest altercations meant that was true. Which let me get him free on a technicality, though he had to surrender all his explosives. Still, I managed to have this launcher and a pack of ammunition for it left over. I think a star tissue can make good use of it. Perfect. I'll arrange to be delivered to your cargo bay. It was last time. I don't know if I'll have anything else, but still, feel free to visit Kardov. I don't get to see you very often. Yeah, we can come back here, but he doesn't really give us anything. Okay, so now we've got a, a bone cruncher launcher or whatever that is. So, let's see. Alright. Max ammo, 18. Okay. Well. Let's look at that thing I need to sell. I wonder. That's only a class 1, right? is like a nothing burger. All right, give me a second. I'm going to move some things around here. Cooking feels about the only thing I would want. Nothing for these guys. Nope. Neither one of those. Eternal drive. That nah, would good. All right, folks. Well, there we go. A little bit of a weird episode this time. Massive lore dump. Let me know what you think down in the comments. As always, keep your heads down. You are warriors of doom up and all. See you again real damn soon.